Brush number two, B squared bronzer brush, the workhorse of them all. Today's tutorial will teach you how to use this baby in more ways than one. Well, hey friends, we're back at it again after a little bit of a hiatus. While I got my home in order, getting ready for school and then following through with school, I needed to step back from video making and makeup and really concentrate on the home. But now I'm back, I'm super excited because we're back to our brush series and I only got through one. I only got through one, my best blend forever. And this time I wanna in introduce the workhorse, this. This brush is amazing. This is the B squared bronzer brush. <laughs> almost messed it up but I didn't. This brush is incredible. It has two fluffy sides like well two sides like all of our brushes do. One side here is a little bit more compact while the other one is uh, not as compact definitely more flowing right and we're going to talk about what each side does and how you can use this brush to do everything that you want. So when I started wearing mascara makeup two years ago I ordered one brush because, you know, I was getting myself started and I just wanted to go with one brush that was going to do it all for me. And this was the brush that I went with and I couldn't be happier. This brush is going to give you about a medium coverage where the where the Best Blend Forever gave you a light coverage. This B Squared Bronzer brush is going to give you a medium coverage. I recommend this brush for any age, young or mature, this brush can work for you and it's multi-purpose. And I'm going to show you everything this baby can do. So right now I have on my eye makeup. I will be sure and list what I've worn on my eyes, but it's a little bit more of a neutral eye today because I plan on a little bit, well, a bolder lip. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. As you know, mascara comes in these handy dandy compacts. You can pop these little tins in and out of your compact. It's mul it can be multi-layer just depending on how big you want your compact to be. You order four or more and you get this compact for free and the more you order, the bigger the compact gets. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this more compact side of my B-square bronzer and I'm going to dip it in my darker highlight color that is mango, just like that. And I'm, I can pinch it. And I'm just gonna go right here in the inner corner of my eye where I have the most uh, darkness, both sides. Actually, I think I'm just gonna do one side. Um, I'm also gonna do right under my nose and kind of right on top and I'm just dabbing it. I'm using this darker highlight color anywhere I have blemishes. Sorry, the dog's in here. Can you hear her nails tapping? Anywhere I have blemishes or redness, this is what my mango is gonna do. It's gonna tone it down. Okay, and then just I'm just doing half the face with this. I'm gonna use the same side and I'm gonna dip it in my lighter highlight color. This is wheat for me, but you know, I am ready to take it up a notch for winter. I can, I can see that my skin is ready. So as soon as I am able, I'm going to amber, lighten it up a bit. I'm gonna come right here in the middle and just take it just a little bit up my forehead, just like that. Again, I'm just dabbing and I'm gonna do right here and right here. Then I'm gonna pinch this and I'm gonna go right down my nose, right on the bone of my nose there, just like that. Okay, so highlight is applied darker color, inner corner, redness and blemishes, and then highlight color where I wanna brighten my face. I wanna keep that brightness again in that triangle of light. Now I'm gonna flip my brush into this big, poofy, so soft side of my brush, and I'm just gonna buff it out. A real light hand on this half of my face. I'm gonna just kind of gently spread the color here on the jawline. I don't need a lot of coverage there and I just want a thin layer. So I'm just gonna use whatever is on the brush already as I'm blending and just draw it out there just for kind of a seamless look, right? Connect the dots. But right here along my brush, um, excuse me, along my, my cheekbone, I did not put any product, okay? So I kept my highlight above. Okay, so there's an application with your highlighter with the B squared. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour and this time I'm gonna squeeze it just like this so that I can fit it along right here 
underneath my cheek. Remember, we apply our contour underneath our cheekbone. If you want a little bit more information on where to apply contour, I did make a video on it, so you can go to my YouTube channel or you can find it in Instagram about contour and where we place it. But it's basically where our middle finger is underneath the cheekbone, starting right here, right by the ear and coming forward and stopping wherever you feel that hard cheekbone, stop. So again, pinching, taking my uh, contour color, indigo, and I'm just dipping it in. See? Then I'm gonna start right here and kind of just stamp it in. Now you can build this color or you can leave it sheer for just a little shadow. Essentially with contour, you are just adding shadow or accentuating the natural shadows that come onto your face. So um, we're just gonna heighten that level of shadow and it's gonna add or accentuate the dimension that we already have. And give us that kind of nice chiseled cheekbone. See, can you see the difference? This is no makeup, right? No contour. Can you see the difference in that level? It's pretty spectacular. We're gonna keep our brush pinched. We're gonna dab it in that indigo again, and we're gonna take the contour along the top of the hairline here, okay? So I want you to think about if you were to draw a sphere, okay, or you, you wanted to draw a sphere and you drew a circle, and to make it look three-dimensional, you would shade it, right? Along the top edges, along the bottom edges, and along the side, and maybe a little bit towards the center. But, we don't need an art lesson. But what we're doing here is adding that shade to just accentuate that dimensionality here. Is that a word? Dimensionality? I have no idea. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks, okay? Take two. Okay, so still pinching and just adding a little bit more color up here. Plain, uh, plain passing by overhead. Cannot talk today. Okay, do you see that? Of course you can see that, right? It's like a dark line up here. Again, I'm gonna flip my brush and I'm just gonna blend it in. I am not pressing into my skin hard at all. I'm barely touching it with the lightest hand and, and more of a buff movement than a back and forth movement. It's just small little circles to kind of buff out that color. All right, I'm also going to add that contour just here along the jawline. Again, thinking about shadow. And I even like to go underneath, flip and blend. So I'm showing you how to do your face here using just entirely the brush the entire time. <laughs> okay, on the other side, I'm gonna show you how to not use the brush as much and how to do the same look. So here, I, I dabbed a little here on my brush and I'm gonna contour my nose now just starting at the top and coming straight down. I like to curve it in a bit, just like that. Then you can flip it or you can use that same side and just open it up, stop pinching it. And you're just kind of pushing the color gently downward. You don't want to go over your nose. You want to keep that shadow along the edge for that more chiseled, chiseled look. Okay. This side is done. I'm gonna soften this line just a bit. Mascara makeup is a cream makeup that is super forgiving. If you put too much on, you can buff it out, no worries. And that's a good thing because today I'm using one of the more pigmented colors that mascara has called Ruby. She's right here. I love Ruby. She was the first blush that I, that I got two years ago and I actually haven't reordered yet. <laughs> so it's lasted me that long, but I also you know, use different colors um, she's not the only one I use every single day. Okay, because she's such a highly pigmented color, and listen, there are a couple of colors, well, a few colors actually, that are highly pigmented that look really scary in the tin, but I just want you to rest assured, these colors are buildable. Yes, it's gonna have more um, pigment on your skin when they're a little bit more bold, but they're not gonna look like they do in the tin on your face, okay? So if you wanna try one, you should just try it because remember, with mascara, you have 30 days for an exchange or 60 days 
excuse me, 30 days for a return and 60 days for an exchange. So you're completely safe. It's free shipping. So don't worry about it. So I'm going to take again, this side of my brush, the compactant, and I'm going to lightly dab it in Ruby. I'm going to start at the top of my cheekbone and I'm going to work my way up. Again, I'm doing that stamping kind of motion. You can see here, when we put our blush on, we wanna have that two finger, do you see that? <laughs> I was trying out a nail, pol nail polish and I forgot to remove it. Sorry, excuse my nails. Okay, so two finger, two. Good gracious, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> okay, I am dabbing, dabbing like this and I'm slowly bringing that color forward but really concentrating the color towards the back of the cheek. And then I can flip it and buff it out. Now here I'm going for really light application because like I said, my lips are gonna be bold and I just, I don't want any competition, okay? My cheeks are gonna let my lips shine. My eyes are gonna let my lips shine. I don't want any competition. Okay, so there's that side. Can you see? All right. I always forget, I always forget to tell you about this part and I'm so sorry. Let's go back to pinching, okay? We're gonna go back to that contour and I want you to take it right underneath your lips. So on this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my lips and it'll be ready. I didn't really wash off my brush, wipe off my brush, I should say. Okay, I accentuated the shadow right underneath my lip looks a little weird right now but once we get the color on it's gonna look really really puffed um and pouty and, and you know nice okay so i'm gonna come back to my ruby i'm gonna use a different brush but you can always apply with your finger we have used the b square bronzer to do the entire face right that you, you didn't use another brush it got the job done you can see the application you can see the coverage on it looks good I'm gonna use my, goodness gracious, I think it's called the Hotline Brush. And I'm gonna apply my lips. Okay, lips done. I'm gonna go ahead, finish this side off. I'm gonna dip into, my goodness, which illuminator should I use today? So many good choices, I just don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Rose Gold. Okay, Rose Gold right in here. And I just like to use my finger. I'm gonna dab it above my cheekbone stopping pretty pretty much on the outer corner of my eye. This is what's gonna give you that really pretty shimmer. I like to put it up here as well. I like to go down my nose just very lightly and then on the tip of my nose, I like to put it right here in my lip, on my lip. And then I do take my brush and I just kind of buff it, but really lightly because you don't, you don't want to wipe it away. All right. This side is complete. Looks pretty good, huh? All right, let's do this side. But let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment and admire the two sides of the face, okay? We can definitely see a nice line where we see kind of a flat line here. We can see it drawn in. Definitely a bolder lip, right? And even my eye is more pulled upwards, can you tell, than this side. I'm telling you, contour makes a difference. Okay, let's get moving with side number two. Notice I have a pretty heavy blemish there. <sighs> cystic acne, right? But let me tell you, mascara, I've had cystic acne for all my life, but mascara and makeup has been able, breakout or no breakouts, I still look good. <laughs> Possible, okay, I, love, I don't want to come off as like, <laughs> I don't know. What I'm truly just trying to say is mascara has the coverage in it and it has that ability to just create a nice brightening effect on your face to really draw the attention away from whatever blemish you have and just get it right back here in the center with that pop of light and make you glow. Okay, side number two. Now I'm going to use my fingers and I'm going to use my B squared bronzer brush 
for this side. Now, I'm going to dip my middle finger into my darker highlight color and I'm going to just stamp it on where I need that coverage. This is known as the cheetah method, okay? You're just making dots on your skin. It's kind of hard for you to see um, where you need that coverage to go. I think that's pretty much it for the dark color. And now for my highlight color, which is wheat, I'm gonna dip my finger in and I'm gonna make some dots along the eye. I'm gonna re-dot my nose just so you can see. Dot along here and along the jawline. So your finger is gonna give kind of a, a lighter coverage to it which is why I went ahead and just put some along the jawline. All right, notice nothing on the cheek, nothing on the cheek, not yet. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it anyway. Okay, we're gonna dot our finger now into the contour color, and I'm going to make my cheetah dots coming down my cheek this way, a little bit more. I'm also gonna make my cheetah dots along my hairline. Still stamping, right? Just as we were using that brush down along here. I'm gonna just swipe my finger down my jawline. And I'm going to swipe my finger down my nose, coming inward. There we go. Now, I already contoured underneath my lip, but I would simply just do the same thing with my brush. Okay, I'm gonna at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and blend. So I'm gonna just use this fluffy side of my B squared bronzer. I'm gonna start here where my highlight colors are and I'm gonna buff it out. Again, pull down on the nose where that highlight is. Try not to smear the lipstick. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited to the end. Buff in here. I'm ready for the contour portion now. So I'm just, again, working my way back from the hairline. You see how I went a little too low? Did you see how easy that buffed out? And it kind of upward motions as I blend in that contour. Cheetah method super popular right now and it's super easy especially when you're just starting out with contouring and highlighting sometimes it's easy just to feel your your bone structure with your fingers and to just put it on that way to really get everything aligned and then just buff it all out it's also I'll have to tell you super handy when you are in a hurry and you just really want to get something on your face and get moving <laughs> so there we go going back to my ruby blush I'm going to dot my finger in there as well. Starting on the high point of my cheek, I'm gonna go back, just like that. If we need to add more, we can, but I'm gonna start there. Then I'm gonna to flip to my fluffy side and buff it out. Again, working towards the back first and then pulling just with, with, what, with whatever is left coming forward onto the apple of the cheek for just a little bit of color there. I don't know, I feel like that looks pretty good. Let's check with this mirror. Yeah, that looks pretty even to me. What do you think? <laughs> Final move, just like the other side, we're going in with our rose gold. I'm gonna wipe off my finger just a bit and dab into that rose gold, high point of the cheekbone. Blending that in. You're just feeling along where that bone is and just kind of following that guide. And then again, just buffing it a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom, we are done. Two ways to use this B-squared bronzer blush brush. <laughs> 
a workhorse. I'm telling you, it's a workhorse. It's a must have. You can use it with a combination of many other brushes, but either way, this guy is a must. If you're interested in mascara makeup, there'll be a link in my bio or in the about column that you can click in order to shop mascara. And if you need help with a color match, please let me help you because it is so hard to be able to tell by yourself online which color you're supposed to be using. Remember, everything is free shipping. Tag a friend in this post to be entered in the September giveaway. The eyeshadow everything brush, my favorite eyeshadow brush. It was so good to see you again. I hope you guys enjoy your week. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll catch you again. Love the Glow Maker.